morning to you all I hope you're all having a really nice or have had a really nice weekend I know I for sure I'm looking forward to tomorrow when the restrictions here in England ease a little bit and we're allowed to see family and friends in our gardens of course and I just oh, I don't know I've not booked today in yet but I'm hoping at some point one day next week I'll be able to go up to my sisters and have a cuppa in the garden a cuppa of water because I'm off tea <laughs> But I'm really looking forward to going and spending some time with her and having a catch up. Comment down below if you guys are looking forward to the restrictions easing and being able to see some family and friends, even though it's not the same as what we're all used to i guess it will still be nice to spend time in the garden and meet up in parks etc etc anyway right now i'm going to pick up my nana she's coming up to our house to celebrate jace's second birthday that was yesterday and she's coming up to have a little tea party i've been able to see my nana throughout the whole of these last few months because she, she doesn't have anyone else and she's in our bubble so to speak anyway it just got into the car to go and pick her up and i'm so angry at chris <laughs> Oh my gosh, does anybody else's husband do this? You won't be expecting what I'm about to show you guys. What is going on? Why are you eating Easter eggs before Easter Sunday? And more importantly, what are you sat in the car doing it for? Why are you sneaking out in the car to eat Easter eggs? <laughs> I'm only joking guys, I'm sure he didn't sneak out in the car to eat Easter eggs. He went out yesterday to Asda to get milk and I'm sure he bought himself an Easter egg whilst he was there and ate it. The Easter bunny is not going to be happy with you babe and you're not going to be getting Easter eggs at Easter if you can't control yourself and you're eating them beforehand, okay? Right, I'm going to go and get my nana now. <laughs> See you guys in a little bit. Good morning guys, so whilst mum has gone to go and pick up nana, me and Jace are just getting ready to go do something really fun, aren't we? Nana. Yeah, Mummy's bringing Nana here, isn't I she? I do, what in? To see my boy for his birthday. I do. Yes, and what are we going to do now? Are we going to go outside? Okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're going to go outside and what are we going to do? Okay. We're going to go see what Granny and Grandpa brought you. I do. Yes. The best present ever. So we're about to go play on it, right? We didn't film it yesterday, but Jace loved it so much. And all he's talked about all morning Ding. is going back out on it, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so it's been raining a bit, so it's a bit wet. But this is what we got. What is it, Jace? A choo-choo? What? You wanna go on? No, Oh, it's a bit wet. It's okay, we'll dry it. You ready? Okay. Right, so. Okay, Jace, are you ready to show everybody? Okay, so this is what we got yesterday. We got a special roller coaster, Thomas the Tank set. Oh my goodness, this thing is so cool, right? A big house, a big house. Yeah, it's a big house. Oh, it's very windy. Oh no. We're gonna have a go, okay? Yes, definitely, Dan. Let's go, come on. This is so cool. It's like you put it on the top of the track, and then Jace can climb up on the little steps, and it's secured in place until he's ready to go. Go on, it's okay. Climb on. Careful. Whoa, careful. Be careful. Okay. Good boy. Are you ready to go? Okay, put the dinosaur down. Hold on with two hands. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? One, two, three. Go. Woohoo! <laughs> is that so fun? Up again. Back up again. This is going to be my job now for the next at least five hours. Up again. Up again like it was yesterday. Come on in. Push it up right to the top. Clever boy. He knows how to do it. That's it, climb on. Dinosaur coming for a ride again. Okay. Right, wait there, I'm gonna go down here, okay? Okay, ready to go? Okay, Jace, do it. Woohoo! Daddy's turn, I'm too big. Are you steady? Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> Clever boy. 
Oh, daddy's too big, that's right. Anyway, needless to say, Jace loves absolutely everything Thomas the Tank Engine, so this is a big hit. <laughs> My choo-choo, straight back up to the top and straight back down. So I don't know if we've showed in here in the last couple of days, I don't think we have, but this room kind of isn't a playroom anymore. It kind of turned into a box room. Uh, literally full to the brim of boxes and we've got a ton of new boxes to fill today as well. And that's the main goal today is we need to crack on and get a lot of packing done. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed with how much packing we've got to do. So that's the, that's the job today basically. We're starting on the top and working our way down. We've done some of the kitchen and we've done some of the playroom. But the main bits are done, like JC's bedroom's fully done. Uh, our bedroom's almost done. We just need to pack like clothes and stuff like that. And then the girls have been doing a really, really good job upstairs in their bedrooms too. We just got back and then I got JC a big present. Are you going to open it? Wow! Wow! Here then, here you go. We're going to open it, see what you've got. What is it? It's like I've done. Oh, wow, it's a big one, isn't it? I do. It's as big as you. It's as big as you, isn't it? Whoa. <laughs> Shall we lay it down? Is it a big, no, he wants it like a big one. There we go. Oh, gone. Don't miss me to take that. <laughs> what is it? Wow, JC, what's that? Is it a big one? Do you like it? It's so big. Look at all those cars. What do you say to Nana? Uh, Jace. Go. <laughs> it's too busy opening it. Jace. Wow. You want to get all the cars out? It's a nice carry case for them, isn't it? Should we open it? Okay. Pretty looks like a statue. <laughs> Okay everyone, the time has come to do something big. Today, I'm unpacking my whole wardrobe and getting rid of, not getting rid of, but packing all of my clothes, which is just so weird because like, I didn't expect it to be this fast. Like I didn't expect to get to like the stage where we're like packing clothes away so quickly. Like, I don't know, it just, it feels weird. Like I'm excited obviously, but it's like, whoa, we're going now. Like we're actually going like, oh, I don't know. It's, it's a weird feeling. <gasps> my drawers gonna be the worst because I've got all my summer clothes in there, which I wore over the summer. Anyway, let's get started and unpack all of my clothes. finished doing my wardrobe in there I've just had like like all my new kind of clothes that I've just got so there's like leggings in there like a few new jumpers I've also done my charity bag there isn't actually a lot I missed because not that long ago I already did like a charity bag before I like moved rooms but I've, run, I've got like two pairs of old jeans in here like three old jumpers yeah that's it <laughs> and then a few like there's like two tops in there as well and um, which just don't fit anymore so We've done that. And then here is another box. So this is just filled with all my summer, well I say summer, this is a jumper, but um, all my summer clothes are in here. Like all of these dresses, denim dress, nice tops, like loads of summery stuff in there. I can't even believe how many hangers are on the floor right now though. Look how many hangers I've got everywhere because of my wardrobe. I literally have only left like basics. Like I've got like a hoodie and he's well. like a few cute tops and they've also got clothes in there like joggers and things like that can't even believe how like bare my room looks because like on these shelves here so i've kept like my big thing up there what is that i think his name made that <laughs> so random anyway all on my shelf so in this we've just got like a few books that i'm reading now then down there we've got my cute little baker this has come in so handy like i can't even it's so like so good on this top bit like any bobbles i've had out or any scrunchies any hair clips little things that like will get easily lost if you put them in a big box all in here because it's also got like separate bits in it you can just organize it all in here like on this top bit I've got all my makeup like that I just like my general makeup like I have more makeup but like that's all like party kind of makeup so that's in a different box but this is also like my to-go makeup the next bit's like bobbles the other bits like there's like pens in there it's like essential bits and then the bottom bit is really good because it's really big 
can you see yeah it's really big and I've put like all my, my YouTube plaques in there like I've got just really like big things that like need to be kept safe I think like the only thing now that we actually need to do is like my all my desk is done like all my drawers and my desk empty apart from school stationery and books that I need to keep out my shelves which need to come down all under my bed is already in boxes because I did that when I moved upstairs so that's pretty much it then we've just got like the big furniture to move and to take a few like bits off on of my shelves but we're basically like pretty much done so we've had a nice play outside now we've just come back inside and me and isabel have whipped up a very small there's only us here very small are you laughing at <laughs> a very small tea party mainly so that Jace can blow out some candles on his caterpillar cake that I picked him up from Asda. I'm starving. And Isabel's starving. We just fancy a nice picky dinner tonight. So that's what we're having. He's just gone upstairs to get changed. Yeah. Change. To get changed our breath from talking. And then we're going to come down and sing happy birthday to him again. <laughs> you peeking boy. Did you just peek? No. <laughs> I think you did. I hate to go Okay, you ready? One, two. Oh, he's tired. It's <laughs> yawning. Two, two, three. Happy wow. birthday yeah. to you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday, DJ. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Yes. 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 Make a wish and blow the candles out. And again, one more time. Goodbye! Spinky! It's okay, we get some clever than me. He's very clever. Here we go. <laughs> So today was a busy Sunday, but I'm feeling really good because JC's bedroom is fully, fully done, looking very bare, bless it, ready to go. So everything is packed up. Obviously, we've got a box of his clothes open that we're going to be living out of until like moving day, but all of his wardrobes are completely empty. They're all um, ready. They all come like in modular stages, so they just like lift off these bits and so they can be transported easily. They're all unbolted, ready to be picked up and moved out. Um, obviously, aside from the wall bracket, the, uh, the bit that holds it to the wall, I'm not taking that down because I don't want it to be unsafe, but basically it's really easy to unclip these. They kind of clip together and screw but the yeah so I've made it so they're nice and easy to take apart um on the day but they're not unsafe they're all good um and then everything else is just stuff that's going to be lifted out like um you know solid bits of furniture uh, lights and these things and whatnot so I'm really really happy today that this room is fully finished and done same with my bedroom now Isla's room's on the way I just need to go and get a couple new boxes because uh, we use all the boxes up today between Isabel's room, my room, and that room. But again, Isabel's room's done as well, so everywhere's looking pretty good. Um, and I'm feeling a lot less stressed about the packing situation in this house because it's a bit of a daunting task and you don't realise how daunting it is. Like, in the run-up to this, I was kind of like, oh yeah, it'll be easy, man. We've got to pack up the house. So what? We'll do it in a few days. Easy. But no, absolutely not. You don't realise how much rubbish and stuff you just like have it everywhere when, you, when you've lived somewhere for a while and you just have like every little every drawer that you just thought would be just a piece of cake just like oh, it's just like mm, 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 mm. no no it's a lot fuller than I thought it was and there's just also it's not just that but you have to go through all your stuff because there's no point in taking all the stuff that you're never going to use or that's too small or whatever to your new house you know you need to get rid of that stuff sort that out take it to charity you know do something good with it and, and that's what's taking the time is like so many of just clothes from all of us and stuff that I just never gonna get one anymore I've had to be sorted out to charity stuff that we're not taking to the house bits of furniture we're not taking to the house um, all stuff that we're buying new you know that's not coming it all has to be sorted out and put somewhere separate da -da 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 -da. so it's a big old process but Sarah has just left to go and take Jean back home and uh, I am left with the aftermath of our little our little party for Jace right now uh, which looks a bit like this not gonna lie, not looking forward to this at all. But I need to do spick and spam before she gets back because uh, me and Sarah have got a bit of a late night tonight catching up on some other work we've got to do. Getting loads of uh, baby me orders finished so that they can be shipped first thing in the morning. All in time for Easter, which they will be. And um, yeah, so we need to get this done so we can get that done when she gets back.
you, little man, need to let mommy do her work is, okay? Camera just dies, so switch to the other one. I Come on, let's, let's let mommy do some work for a bit, okay? Pog? Oh, no, I love Pog. Mm, maybe not tonight. Oh, I don't <gasps> want to Pog. Oh, I don't want to Pog. Come on, Jace, we'll go put Booba on. Okay. Let's go, come on, let's go put our pyjamas on and put Booba on, okay? Maybe. So as Chris just said, I'm going to spend a couple of hours at least working on baby and me products. I just got back from taking my Nana back home. It's about 40 minutes drive each way. So it probably takes like an hour and a half almost to take her back home. Set off, I don't even know what, know what time I set off, but it's just gone 8 p.m. now and I've just got back. So I must have set off about half past six. I'm so tired tonight. I don't know why. It's like we've had a hardcore partying, nightclubbing, drinking <laughs> weekend, but <laughs> obviously we haven't. It's just been Jace's second birthday and we didn't even really do that much for his birthday. But I feel like it just, when you have like an exciting weekend, it just completely takes it out. Well, it does me anyway. Um, but. I do need to get these orders done so badly. Um, and on that note, we are going to be taking tomorrow off of vlogging. There's a couple of reasons. The main one being that, well, the girls are back at school tomorrow after the weekend off. I know it's half term and spring break for a lot of you guys, a lot of families, but we're gonna be busy in a couple of weeks time with the move. And so it doesn't really make sense for us to take our half term now when things are quite quiet. Or when I say quiet, I mean there's nothing for the girls to be doing so we're going to be working through the easter holidays and then we're going to be taking our half term when we move house when we get a date to move the house because i know we'll be just so busy that week so the girls are back at school tomorrow so they won't be able to film anything chris is literally packing like a beast at the moment because we've got you should, i think you just underestimate how much you acquire over a few years we've not even been here that long like three years but we've honestly just got so much house to pack up so he's going to be doing that and i can't vlog tomorrow like the, there's just no way i can get through the amount of baskets that i've got to get through even staying up all night tonight like i'm probably gonna be there's just no way that i'll be able to get them all out by tomorrow evening and they do have to go tomorrow evening because it's easter on sunday and i just don't want anybody to be let down and for people to not have their orders that they've paid for and um, so i'm going to post first class tomorrow so i'm going to be doing that basically long story short and that's all we're going to be doing tomorrow pretty much so i've just said we can't vlog on top of doing all that there's just too much pressure so we'll be taking tomorrow off i apologize for those of you guys that will be disappointed but we it's only one day we will be back the next day thank you guys so so much for everything <laughs> everything all your baby and me orders all your lovely comments watching our videos all your edits and comments for jace's birthday this weekend just thank you for everything we're gonna end the vlog here and we'll see you back here tomorrow no we won't and we'll see you back here not tomorrow but the next day at 5 p.m good night guys